What's up everyone, this is Yasser Alid and in today's video I will be talking about the Holiday Cup, specifically some teams that used to be common, like in the last Holiday Cup, uh, what's the most common code, like some anti-meta teams. Uh, without further ado, let's, let's go and watch the, bat the, uh, the video. Okay, so what is Holiday Cup? Holiday Cup is starting first in December 16th, which is in two days, and in Holiday Cup you will like it's a great league version and a few types are only allowed to use which is normal grass electric ice flying and ghost and from this you can see that the ice typing beats two type two other typings and the neutral to other types which means ice typing is kind of the dominant type in this type and in, in this cup everything else is the neutral like electric yes does does super effective to flying but most of the flyers take neutral from electric like altaria and Altaria does need resisted moves to Electric. So Electric is kind of the second best typing, I assume. Unless you have some Ice Ghost typing, then you will have some niche decent spot in, in the meta, like Frostlass, for example. The main codes, like, let's, uh, I'm just gonna split them into Electric Squad, the Ice Squad, the Ghost Squad, and other options, which is like anything else that is good. The electric, the best electric Pokemon is Batchery, so it has to be a level 51, I believe. It maxed out around around 1371, something around that, but not everyone has it. So if you don't have the Batchery, so Lantern is an option. You never Stunfisk, it's bulky Pokemon. It has a decent coverage. It doesn't have a nuke potential, which is kind of holding, which is kind of what is holding it back. And Alolan Graveler, which does well since you have... A super effective move to hit the ice typing which is the dominant typing in the league the ice squad uh, as you guys all know it's always frostlass just i mean just ban the steel and frostlass will just be the best pokemon it is dugong which is the most and one of the most annoying pokemons in the game a9 is just being a charmer or like a wither ball spammer lapras the decent bulk they had the using the shadow potential version and uh, normal uh, sorry snowy snowy cast form i think that it has like a decent spot in pv poke but it, it's not that good like it doesn't have any any coverage moves the ghost squad leading the ghost squad is trevenant as always because you have a cheap move and you has a new potential with ice shard you lose to to the ice but technically you can grab a shield, you beat the other electric because you resist electric because the grass typing. I believe it's gonna be one of the best Pokemons. And Alolan Marowak because you beat Frostlass and you beat Vigoroth, which is used to be like the best core and the meta Sableye is just being an XL option here where you can beat other ghosts and you can beat everything in any neutral matchup. Jellicent, I believe if you want to use Jellicent, you you, you want to use it for the water damage, not for the uh, Hex spam. Like, you want to use it for the bubble damage. Because if you want to use it for Hex, you can use... If you want to use it for the Ghost damage, I believe uh, Trevenant and, and Sableye is much better. Diplom is just being another option if you don't have a, a good Jellicent. But, like, Diplom is just like a, a Walmart version of Jellicent. Uh, other options, stuff that are good, but that not that solid. Or like, not just like that. Okay, because I didn't talk about the normal typing, I believe. It is only two normal stuff that are very solid. It's, uh, it's the core Vigoroth Wiggles, Wigglytuff. Those two are like just the best two, in my opinion. You can just put them in any team in Holiday Cup and almost nothing can clap them directly because any any option that beats them lose to the other thing. Like the only, I think the only Pokemon that can beat both is Universe Tunfisk here or Pachiriso, but Pachiriso has to land the Nook and bait uh, to win. Other than that, I don't think anything beats those two. I, I remember people used to spam Altaria Vigoroth core and then like some other people used to play Altaria Wiggles so they can beat the Altaria uh, Vigoroth core. You can use Mandibuzz with Aerie Slash. I believe it's, it beats Vigoroth. It doesn't do well versus Charmed. It loses to the Ice which is the most dominant typing in the, in the, in the league. 
and that's kind of what is holding Mandibuzz back. That's why it's not like the best flyer. I believe the best flyer is Altaria. I remember like some people used Steel Wing Skarmory because Steel Wing Skarmory easy beats the, the the fairies. You beat Altaria better. You win the Altaria matchup better, and you can beat Vigoroth with a Steel Wing because Iron Slash is kind of bad move. And it doesn't like the best offensive. Steel wing is more offensive, less energy generation move. But you only need one move if you can hit hard on the fast move. Volibee is kind of a spicy version of Mandy Buzz, but like I still don't think you should be running Mandy or this. Talon Flame is a good, is somehow good in the two because you can just flame charge through everything. And you just double shield, flame charge everything. You can grab both shield, which will guarantee you winning the lead and in lower elos, if you win the lead and swap, most likely you will be winning the game. So, in low elo, I expect uh, Talonflame to be the best Pokemon. Uh, I remember, like, uh, some people used to play uh, Litleo. I remember, like, uh, Arrow, the streamer. Make sure to check him out. He used to play Litleo because it beats Frostlass. And I think that's the only way. I, I It doesn't reliably beat Frostlass because you need the very XL one. And it's still not that great. So I wouldn't recommend running XL with Leo or spending the dust. Uh, Diggersby. Diggersby is a very thick Pokemon. It's literally the same as Mandy, but you are very thick, but your typing is not helping. Your moveset is not helping in this in, in this cup. Like you're weak to ice. You are weak to grass. You are weak to the flyers. You are weak to Vigoroth. You beat the Charmer, which is the only thing you diggers we can do. Uh, here we have Obstagoon. Obstagoon is just like a second Vigoroth option. So if you want to play double counter user, which is was very, very common. Like uh, something like Frost. I think Frostlass would safe swap Vigoroth and Obstagoon in the back. So you beat <coughs> you beat out the, 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 the Vigoroth and the like Goon sweeps the back most of the time. And Spice. Spice is tough in this cup. I believe Spice isn't that great in this cup specifically. Like ho oh is being a fire version. But Talonflame does everything better. If there is anything I would run here, it's going to be like Shadow Aerodactyl. I believe Shadow Aerodactyl is the best Spice Pokemon. Oh, sorry. It's the best Spice Pokemon in this cup. Because you beat the Ice. You do well versus... You beat the Ice and the Flyers which is the best and the second dominant typing in this cup. You do well with the grass uh, because you can just double shield and rock through the, the entire uh, like the entire matchup. Zangus, just Zangus, a Pokemon that hit hard and win CMP, but very glassy. Normal cast form is just an option there if you want to use it. If you have built one, if you, I believe this is the best cup where you can get some benefits out of it because of the Rock with that type, and like ice is gonna be everywhere. I believe lots like people were running like double ice somehow. We will uh, get to the teams, and now moving into the teams. <coughs> Sorry. So the BBML teams. There is two teams which used to be everywhere. I remember Vigoroth plus last core, with either Altaria or Lantern in the back. Either Altaria or Lantern with Vigoroth and plus last uh, in the back. The core breaker steel wing scar, but you don't run air slash. Air slash is not that good because air slash lose to frost last, while steel wing flip the matchup because you do super effective fast move damage. Sableye is one because Sableye technically can beat Vigoroth, can beat frost last, can beat lantern. Trevenant is also another option. Like it's a spammier version of Sableye, but it's a bit squishier. And Sableye has having the access to BXL is giving it like a decent bulk in this cup. So yeah. If you're looking to build some anti-Pokemons, anti-meta anti teams, you can start from here. Maybe Trevenant's gonna be very meta this, this rotation, I don't know. Maybe. We, we will see in two days. The asking team, like the team that me and Smash King always recommend, it's literally just pick three of those four. And you should be fine. Like If you don't have patch so you can pick Lantern. Just pick three. One, you have one, two, three, four. Plus Lantern, that's five. Pick three, put them in a team, and you should have the best team in Holiday Cup. Some annoying teams. I remember, like, I have those teams from uh, watching King. 
uh, on his YouTube. I remember last season when people were running plus last big code and he posted two videos. I think they are still there. Just check his, his YouTube channel. The uh, holiday holiday cup on King Channel. There was two teams which are like very, very annoying. Vigorous in the lead, which was people used to have it in the back most of the time with Vigorous as a safe swap. But this team is literally like the second one. The the, the lower one is designed to be anti-meta. Like Vigorous Lantern is gone. It's literally just uh, a counter to the ice, a counter to the flyer, a counter to the ice as well. Uh, there is the Ufisk double ice team. Uh, this team is like if you have a bad lead, you swap to uh, sorry, you swap to Dugang, and Dugang pretty much can flip and you swap almost as long as you don't do super effective fast move and super effective charge move. Uh, Core breaker to this team, you can do charm A9 because you resist the ice. You can also do the Sable Eye. Sable Eye can beat. The XL Sableye flip the Dugang matchup. If you have a Hondo Sableye, you don't win the Dugang matchup. Another coil breaker, the coil breaker for the lower team, I believe it's Pacheriso because you beat the two in the back. You literally like destroy both of them at the same time with one Pokemon. And the Ufisk, just because it's a Ufisk, destroy the Spark version of Lantern, but does fine versus the Water Gun Lantern. Uh, Anti-meta team, I remember it's the, uh, <coughs> we call it the dojo, it's like the uh, six foot ninja, he's a streamer, make sure to check him out. He was running a total different code in that cup, it was AWAC with Fire Blast, the Snorlax with Outrage. So yeah, so whenever, I don't even, I don't think the uh, Obstagoon was, wow, wow, like exist back in the days, existed back in the days, but now I believe it's a very good core breaker to this team, but if you land the Fire Blast or if you land the Outrage from Snorlax, you can still pretty much beat it. Also, you, he had uh, Hunter in the back, I believe, because Hunter is the ghost that beats all the other ghosts because you win CMP. Now, if you don't have Hunter, if you don't like Hunter, you can run Trevenant for like the better typing and the better coverage. It's a solid team. I recommend running it and make sure to check his stream. He's going to... I think he's going to be playing the same core with different backline, unless he has something different in his mind. It's a very solid team. I lost to that team, I think, twice. I didn't expect the Fire Blast from AWAC. And yeah, if you're looking for an anti-meta team, this is one of them. And the Twitch chat teams, it's always the three, the most three annoying teams, and they have to be a charmer. By this guy here in the bottom left corner i still don't know who the fuck is this guy i don't know i asked you guys and you guys no one told me so i don't know he has bigger tooth teeth now he has bigger teeth nowadays i don't know what happened to him but yeah back into the topic so i don't know but i assumed he's gonna be running the most annoying three pokemons and then in the, in, the, in the league which is dugong vigoroth and wiggles why wiggles over uh why would, would I assume he's going to be running Wiggles over Frostlass? Because it's a charm and he's this guy is known for running charm. Code Breaker, it's AWAC. Patch Riso is fine. Venus is fine. This is why this team is solid because the stuff that destroy the team aren't the meta. Right? Like, like this team might be weak to Vigoroth, but you have a Vigoroth, you have a Wiggles. Wigg Wiggly Tough Vigoroth is a very IV dependent matchup. If they have if they have a high PvP IV, they win the one by denying Charm. If they don't win, if they don't deny Charm, Wiggly wins. So yeah, I believe yeah, I believe that's the teams that I do recommend running uh, in the Holiday Cup. And it's not that like it's not that much creativity to run because the staff, the spice isn't that good. It is most likely if you want to run spice, you pick a spice Pokemon with a decent core and hopefully it will work and lastly a uh, special thank to go back to log for giving me the access to his teams to the teams like they were that people were running pv poke for the sims for checking the code breakers i have literally everything and mish for designing the slides thank you everyone and that's it for today's video if you like the video i mean Make sure to leave a like. If you have any comment, any any question, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. And that's it. See you in the other videos.
Yeah, that'll be good. Peace.